Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Kareek and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In today's tutorial, we have what everybody knows and loves, the T flip flop. And if you don't, that's okay, because after this tutorial, you will. Now on to everyone's favorite section of the video, my onesie. As you see, today I'm wearing the dolphin onesie as suggested in the last tutorial. So if you'd like to choose my onesie for the next tutorial, leave a comment down below. Everything on screen are all the onesies that I've already done. So pick a new one. Let's just get straight on into the tutorial. So first we're gonna start off with what is a T flip flop? T flip flop is a redstone circuit that turns a redstone pulse into a constant pulse. So put it simply, it turns something like a button that goes on and off quick into a constant pulse like a lever would let off. So you see, a normal button would just turn it on and then turn it off. But with a T flip flop, it turns that button into something like a lever, where once you press it, it turns on and stays on until you then press it again, where it'll then turn off. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get straight on into the designs. Really quickly, down in the left hand corner, I'm going to put up timestamps and there will be chapters in the video of each and every single design. So just know that if you find a design that you like and you want to skip straight to the tutorial. So first off, we have the OG one. This one has been used for a really long time. It's, it's just been with us forever or what feels like forever. All it is is dropper facing up, dropper facing out into a hopper, or the hopper facing down into this dropper, which is facing back into this corner one. See, we press the button, turns on, turn, turns on, stays on like a T flip flop should. Press again, turns off like so. Also know that you will have to have your button directly on or directly going in to this dropper. If it's not, it won't work. So sadly, you can't have something like this because that won't work. But you can have something like this. That will work. Next, we have a silent design. Now, personally, this design is held near and dear to my heart because this was the first T flip flop that I ever learned. And I used this for quite a while until I started learning other designs. Do I think it's the best design? No. But if you want something silent, because this does make a sound with the droppers, this is your way to go. And you see, press it, turns on, press it, turns off. This next one is like the first. It works roughly the same way, except for you cut out one dropper and you have something like this. Now just know with this is that you will need a block right here. For me, I just have the lamp to indicate if it's on or off, but you will need a block right here because the item that's shooting through the circuit will shoot out hit this, and then fall back in the hopper. Then see, we turn it on, turn on, stay on, perfect. And then we should turn it off and it should turn off and stay off. The next design isn't a bad design either. It cuts down on another dropper. So you just have a dropper and a hopper with a little bit of redstone to lock that hopper. Press it, should turn on, stay on, perfect. Press again, should turn off and stay off, perfect. Next one is nothing crazy. Just had to throw this one in for the memes, because all it is is a boat on water. I, I really do love this design, as, as stupid as it is. Who am I kidding? It's not stupid. But this design, it's interesting. It's not like the rest. We have a dispenser with a water bucket, or a bucket with water on the outside. Three pressure plates around it. So when we remove the water, the boat will fall, land on the pressure plate, activating it, holding it on, and turning on whatever you need to turn on. And we press a button, the boat will float back up to the top of the water and turn those pressure plates off. It's, it's, uh, it's a T flip flop. May not be what you've been expecting, but it's a T flip flop. Anyways, let's get straight on into the material and the tutorial part of this. First off, we have this OG one. You will need three droppers, one hopper, three redstone comparators, one button, and one item to circulate around your droppers. Doesn't have to be dye. I like to use dye. It can be whatever one singular item you want. So first, get out your droppers. Make sure they're droppers, not dispensers. These all use droppers except for that boat one. That boat one is the only one that uses dispensers. We're going to get one facing in. Right in front of this, we're going to get one up. Then on top of this one up, we're going to get one out. Right on top, we're going to get a hopper facing down like so. Then a comparator facing out of it. Then have this comparator either going into the repeater, some redstone, or whatever you're activating. In my case, it's a lamp. And that's it. Now slap in your item into any one of these. Slap on your button to this front middle dispenser. Dropper, sorry. Press the button and it should be all working. As you see, turns on, stays on. Turns off, stays off. Next up, we have the silent design. You're going to need two blocks, two hoppers, two redstone torches, one redstone comparator, two redstone dust, one button, and your one of any item. First, you're going to use a block to place your button. Place my button on it. On the back side, have a torch. Place a block on top. Torch on the side of that, then go two blocks below that. You're going to have a hopper. You're going to get a hopper fixing into that 
They're then gonna replace this hopper so then it can go facing into that hop. They should be facing into each other like so. On top, you're gonna crash place two redstone dust. You're gonna plop your item in. Then just get a redstone comparator facing out and have it going into whatever you wanna power. In my case, I'm placing a redstone ramp. Go around, we press the button, should turn on, stay on. Press it again, should turn off, stay off. Perfect. Next up, we have the two dropper design. You need three blocks, one repeater, two droppers, one hopper, one redstone comparator, one button, and one of any item. Place three blocks in an L shape, button on the top one, repeater going out of it, have a dropper facing up, dropper facing out, hopper facing into this bottom dropper, with a comparator on top facing out. Now, if you don't have a redstone lamp right there like me, you're going to want a block. But in my case, I have my redstone lamp there, so I have my redstone lamp. And then let's say you want to go further out with your redstone. You'll have to add like a repeater, some redstone dust going out, so then it can continue out of that block. Place in your one item. Now, if we press it, it should turn off, stay off. It should turn on, stay on. Perfect. Next up, we have a one dropper design. You'll need a block, you'll need a dropper, a hopper, redstone repeater, redstone comparator, two redstone torches, one redstone dust, a button, and whatever item you want to be filtered in there. Have a block, button on it, redstone torch to the side, redstone repeater for tick delay. Next to this redstone repeater, on this block, we're gonna drop it facing out, hopper facing into it, like so, should be facing in, with a block on the side of that. Redstone torch on top, redstone dust on top of the hopper, comparator facing out of all of that, and then just have that comparator going into whatever you want. In my case, I have a redstone lamp right there. If we place our item in and we press the button, should turn on, stay on. Perfect. Should turn off, stay off. Perfect. Next, we have the wonderful boat design. You need a dispenser, one water bucket, one boat, three pressure plates. I haven't tried this with any other pressure plates besides wooden, so just get wooden. It's the cheapest one anyways. One redstone dust and one button. Add a dispenser. With the water bucket inside, leave the block right in front of it open for the water. Go to the left one, the right one, and front one with your pressure plates. Place your button on the dispenser. Press it so the water comes out. Get on top, and you're going to want to place the boat in the water, and it should be floating. Keep in mind, if you place it like this, or that was a bad example. If you place it something like that, where it's not in the water and it's not floating, you're going to need to replace it. I recommend just getting on top and placing it from up top. Then from out of the top pressure plate, or I guess you could do any of these pressure plates, have redstone dust going out of it. Then just have your redstone dust going into whatever you want to power. In my case, is a redstone lamp. If you press the button, the boat will fall, landing on that pressure plate, and it power what we want. When you press it again, the boat should float up, turning that lamp off. Perfect. Anyways, that's it for today's tutorial. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, as always, post notes, and that's pretty much what I say. See you next one. Goodbye.